Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I'm Peter Moxon, Keeper of the Archives, and last time... I have basically no idea. I want to say that it was a resistance mission or something, and we got an engineer, I think? Yeah. Editing, Peter, if you have anything to add, by all means, let's go. Uh, actually, let's check our wounds first. Right. Do I keep getting shot once, and that takes our soul drop for two goddamn weeks? Oh, Scorch, eventually you'll be not utterly terrible. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, aside from that, we're still trying to build up a little bit of money orders, in, order to, Commander? in order to get uh, the mag pistol upgrade, but also we're working on... Okay, 11 days for Gauss weapons, and that's another two squad upgrades. So, let's see. Supply drop is 21 days, so we're not going to get our supply drop before that. We'll get some credits from clearing alien debris here, at least. This will open up our ability to make more stuff, or more facilities, because we'll have more power to work with. Advanced Warfare, done in one day, which will reduce our wound time by 50%, assuming that I staff an engineer in there. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. Like, when was the last time you even saw a cow? There's a lot of genetic modification. Cows might not look like cows anymore. Oh, the better question is, do you know what a cow looks like? Maybe we can get rookies from there. Ooh, supply drop. Thank you, I forgot course. that existed. And by the way, yes, these will expire, I think, over time. Center, now operational. A chance to learn bonus abilities upon promotion. Staff slot, increase healing rate. Staff slot, retrain abilities. And you are now available. New facility. Okay. Let's increase healing rate here so we can try to get our three soldiers back. That does slow us down for doing some other stuff, but I take that risk. Locked. So you do need to go down middle first, I guess. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Yeah, so kind of like... Come on, game. There we go. Uh, so kind of like in the last game where, where you could have steam vents and that's the ideal to put hydrothermal or I think there's thermal generators over it. Exposed power cells are the equivalent and you want to make Illyrium gens over that, I think. Okay, power relay done basically in time with the, with the supply drop. Cool. New staff. Ignore for a moment. Right, right. It wasn't the power. It wasn't the power relay that finished. It was the uh, supplies. So two forty-six. I still want to wait for our science because I want to try to get the mag weapons as quickly as possible. Rookies, intel. Let's make contact just so we have the extra. Right, right. We've made contact with them. We're just setting it up now so that we don't have to worry about the, about that ticking over to four of three. Power relay now operational. Power plus three. Oh no, that's not a lot. Yeah, power relay is not the most impressive looking uh, facility. Okay, so I want to put a workshop here so that I can staff engineers and then get gremlins to the uh, warfare center and the power relay for better benefits. So for now, let's put our spare engineer down into here to uh, to dig out this area, so we can try to dig out this area so that this can eventually. On, we've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. So that this, so that whatever goes in this room can also benefit from uh, the workshop being here. Also, we get a Lyrium out of this apparently. Excavate. Cool. 30 days because it's getting into the lower levels, so it takes a lot longer. Yay. Supplies plus 40. View room. 
go ahead and put you on this for a moment. Oh god, it is weird what that's doing. It's like I need to click on something else first, but then it auto-does both things. Anyway, if we can get a workshop, uh, workshop? Gremlin drugs, yes. Go ahead. Workshop construction initiated. 20 days on that, but that's that the shielding only takes 15 days. You know what, sure. Take one of you off. No, empty, there. Uh, you, you, and then we want one of you here as well, so that we are, so our wound time stay down. That was just me kind of misclicking stuff a little bit. Yeah, so then we have the workshop up, so we can staff a gremlin here and here by using one engineer here. That saves us one extra engineer to put over here and then start working on this which I'm currently thinking might be the Proving Ground. Kind of depends on what the extra engineer does for this. Oh, we can write... This is the uh, sign for an upgrade, actually. That, that's what I'm hoping to do for the workshop, because that lets you staff a second engineer, so we'll get four gremlins in total. But upgrading the power... 80 supplies... And it looks like it gets you plus two power? It's not a lot, actually, huh? Don't do that for now, but keep it in mind. Okay, plus 44 supply income. New regional contacts located. New Brazil is a bit further north than I expected it to be. Uh, okay. And Western Europe, because that makes sense. Okay. So at the moment, we can gain intel, go to the black market, or get rookies. And those are both make contact. I thought there was... Oh, the staff are probably at the black Avenger market. new course. Okay, I'll check this first. Market is open. Hmm, rush the research on those might not be a bad idea. Advanced focus. My guess is that that would be aim, but it looks based on based on there being a brain like it might be will. Or Peter, an autoloader. Autoloaders are super good, actually. That is just a free reload, as in a zero action point reload. An extra engineer. Uh, by the end of the game, you honestly have a few too many engineers on average, but they're so useful that it's not useless. Hmm. The autopsies become instant over time, just because of the acceleration of the game. So resistance radio is a maybe. Halves remaining research time. Okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is finish up Gauss weapons, uh, start resistance radio, buy this to reduce it by three days. That way we just get it done more quickly. That's 20 intel for that, so that's not that much. 40 intel for 111 supplies. I feel like supplies are likely to be pretty useful. Uh, let's hold off for the moment, though. And sell. What do you express? You are especially you are especially interested in these. Hmm. I don't need ink. I don't need supplies at this exact moment, but I can sell some of these. I suspect. Oh, wrong one. Actually, it's George. Checking our wounds here really quickly. One day and three days. Honestly, at that point, sure. Let's take our engineer off what can of. I do for you, Commander? Oops. Uh, facilities. Let's take our engineer off of this so that their wound time goes up. We can make the uh, construction, or the, not construction, excavation time on this go down. Okay, glad I checked that, actually. I guess let's go get some rookies, because I basically want to wait till I have full mag weapons before I do this. 
and I kind of want to wait till I have full, I think it's plasma weapons before I do this. Like, oh, I'm scared of this mission. I didn't expect it to pop that early. Oh, we do have Black Sight. I want to wait till mag weapons for Black Sight as well. So both of these are going to be like next week or something. For now, let's just go ahead and try to get the rookies. Well, guess that's the next time thing. New Gorilla Ops. Okay, scientist, honestly, probably a good idea at this point. We're going to be getting into some more difficult researches pretty soon. Uh, engineer, I've already noted how good they are, and one block of Avatar of Avatar Project Progress. Okay, that, that is solid. And 109 intel and faceless on each mission. Honestly, having a lot of intel is really good because you spend intel both at the black market for whatever stuff, as well as to make contacts with other regions. So high intel is definitely a good thing to have. For now, I think a scientist is actually one of the most important things we could get to just speed up stuff like, uh, I know that plated armor is still slow and we now have the alloys to do it. So if I could speed that up to even moderate, then that just makes it so we can save a few days by just having an extra scientist. So I, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one because this, Good for the good for the short term, questionable for the long term. This probably good for the long term, whatever on the dark event. Uh, but very little use in the short term. And then this good in the short term, unknown with the dark event, decent for the long term, I'd say, because it's really useful until you run out of research, basically. Setting course for East Africa. Okay, take everyone off. Now then. Oh, whoops, right. Okay. The Odyssey might be for the best because I was thinking about taking both of these. So, I want to take you because you're kind of our squad leader at this point. Alice Webb, Paladin. We want you to get through the mission without taking damage, if at all possible. Pistolier, Grenadier, Specialist. Hold on. Also... Build items. We have 161 at the moment. I knew that, basically. Okay. If I... Okay, uh... Girl Tactics should be over here, I think. Yes. Alright, alright. Squad Size 2 requires Captain, doesn't it? Yeah. Only takes 75 supplies. That's actually not bad. We could theoretically get any of these, though. So what are these? Enemies drop additional item every time loot is dropped. Scales decently, but it's not super important. Lightning Strike, plus three mobility for the first two turns of battle. Damn, that's actually solid. 25% experience. I like it. Squadmate dies or is critically wounded. Gain random tactical bonuses for two turns. I don't want to need that. <laughs> uh, PCS bonuses. Okay, let's get wet work because we have the money. We can buy a decent amount more supplies from the uh, black market, and 25% experience is definitely a solid improvement. I, I didn't think I was going to get that, but it is useful. You. Uh, yes. Confirm. Same squad. We want the assault to not take damage. Until the item's available. Armor available. You. Over to the med kit. Edit. Loadout. Ooh, Arc Blade versus Axe, actually. 4 to 6, 15, 25. Ooh, it has a stun chance, actually. Okay, 4 to 6, 15, 25. 4 to 6, 10. Okay. We have now... Oh, this is now better than the, than the Axe, with the only exception being that the Axe can be thrown, which so far I have not utilized. Oh god, you have Will Zero. I, I didn't realize that was that much of a difference. Oh god. Let's see, you should have Shadow Keeper. Loadout. Yes, go. Okay, Bullcaster, Shadow Keeper, the axe we're not taking. Frostbomb is the other one, and has proven fairly useful, actually. So, Frostbomb's proven it's, uh, it's making a use case for itself. Yeah, you 
I have the scope. Do we have nothing available? Uh, let's go over to you, because I don't think I've modded your weapon. Oh, yeah. Guess we just don't have any items available. Any, um, weapon mods. Okay. Oh, makes that easy. Uh, I think we're good to go. Oop. an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region, and we've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation, so we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site, lock it down, and destroy the target. Will do, Bradford. Operation Crypt Shriek. Let's go. Boop, boop. Relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Position is obscured. Can do, Bradford. Okay, so if this roof goes for a little bit, which it looks like it might, uh, it goes back here. That's a bit far for the sniper to reasonably get, but good elevation. And again, she has the extra ability now where elevation. Wait. Yeah, she has the extra ability now where Elevation can actually make it so that she gets extra shots. So that is pretty solid. Okay. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Welcome to turrets. Lightning hands for a free shot. Shadow fell to regain concealment. Don't particularly love the no cover, but it is the first turn, and we seem to be okay so far. Just the turret. Position confirmed. Orders confirmed. On the move. Okay, if no one yet, then let's try starting to get to the roof, because elevation is good for everyone, not just snipers. Uh, sure. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get some vision over here just in case there's a patrol. And there is a pipe here, so you can climb that, I think. Moving to designated position. Okay, no need to worry about that. Theoretically, we can kind of sneak around the house, but maybe. Oh god, dish. Remember when dish existed? Do you? Oh no. Moving on target location. Move up with the squad. Confirmed. I'm on the move. Since there's literally no aliens visible at the moment, I'm s I feel pretty safe doing what I just did. Okay. I could blue move to here, but what vision is that gonna get? Just go to like over here. Copy that. Okay, now roofs are hell with respect to sight lines. So, you're on, like, the edge of the pitch here, so your sight is still going this way. So the moment she uh, jumps over this or whatever to get over to literally the next tile over, just a cascade of extra vision is going to happen. I think they can just jump down or something. It's so dumb. You know what, Pistolier? You are technically a sniper, so you make sure to get up here too. How about through not that? That works. On it. Okay, what hack is this? I'll take a look. Disorient for two turns. Soldier gains immunity from next two attacks. The Disorient is actually pretty solid if we get into a little bit of a rough situation, so that's actually a good hack for me to for me to know about. I kind of feel like the snipers up here 
maybe even with the specialist and then the assault and have or grenadier come back through here might be solid or might be at least doable ah uh, yeah we need someone getting up here to get vision and the grenadier being on a different angle allows them to grenade more easily i think Start with you. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was wondering what your blue move was going to look like. Good copy. Moving on target. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Okay. Doesn't take too much for them to see me, but it depends on how they're moving. Start by going here, then. Okay. Okay, now that we know that they're there, let's do Moving this. Target location. Currently at a hundred percent. Okay. Roger that. Oh, okay. We're glad I checked that first. Yeah, just you two. Let's go ahead and Overwatch. Just to be safe, and it looks like they're going in a good direction for us. Hmm. Okay, what if I put you here? I'm on the move. Okay, there's a second turret, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the other one was over here. And if I try to blow stuff up... Blowing stuff up is not perfect, but does help. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Slash does work. And gets us behind full cover. But it also is so far out of position that it might trigger another pod. Okay, if I grenade, that'll kill you, damage you, and you'll scatter probably over here, I would guess. I might be able to uh, pistolier at that point, but it's not entirely certain. The main thing is I'm trying to get, like, a follow-up with Slash or such. And the issue is that I don't think I can take out both turrets with my current arrangement. Okay. What if we go here? That location. And it will take them moving, like, all the way to here or such to actually see me from here, because they need to get past the cover. I'm not convinced that they wouldn't see the sniper, though. Okay. And full cover here. Confirmed. Overwatch, Overwatch. Overwatch. Go ahead and just Overwatch, and you move over here. Just that you're a little bit closer. My hope was that they were going to move back, actually. Sound like a, like a mech, maybe? Okay, for now, let's move you here, just so, you, just so we can get vision along that line. And then move you here. Order's confirmed. On the move. Okay, and there is no sight cone going on here. And since they moved out, they need to move back again if they're going to be patrolling this line. In which case, they're going to move back to about here, so we know that here is going to be safe. I think. You hit them from here. You cannot. Okay, in that case, move Heading up. To that location. We'll cover here, even though it's a we yellow move, just so we can keep moving people along. Oh. 
you to here just so you stick with everyone. Half cover is dangerous, though, so let's put you here. No need to ask twice. Okay, everyone else, overwatch. And hope that I planned well. Okay, we got a lot of enemies in the same area. Sure is grenadable. Ooh, that is very grenadable. I just realized that I don't have the disorientation hack anymore. I'm not sure what this is going to do. Okay, so that'll blow that up. You know what? Overwatch. Got it covered. Sure. Eyes on the prize. Frag. The double explosion might kill. I'm not totally sure. And my expectation is that when everything scatters, you three scatter, although you might be dead from the double explosion, you two scatter, and I have two or three overwatches to try to deal with you. The assault is not on overwatch, though, so I might be able to get a sword attack out. And the turrets, I'm kind of just saying I'll fucking deal with it another time. They get one turn. Get ready for a surprise! Okay. Oh, good. There we go. Game. I know that's not it. Hello, sectoid. Goodbye, sectoid, I think. No, no. Yeah, now they're active. Okay, you can currently only see the uh, turret. If I go for slash, it's against the turret. Six to eight, though. <laughs> Six to eight damage is a kill, actually, because because minus two for the armor, then four remaining. Actually, in that case, why do I just do this? Yeah, that works. Kill confirmed. Now for some danger. Oh, Psy Zombie, right. I keep forgetting that's a that's an ability in this game. Okay, Sectoid, I know what you're doing. There you go. And there should be one turret that gets a free shot on us, probably against our uh, devoted sniper. Once the game decides to load the animation... Transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. I and mean, that's actually not as much health as I thought, so yeah, we can take that out in one or two shots. Go ahead and go for 70%. Cool. You want some more? Ah, death from above. Good. Reload you first. Rock and roll. Be behind full cover over here. Designated coordinates. Okay, so we took out two pods, and there's kind of a pseudo pod here with the turrets. There might be one pod remaining on the map. I think like that. That I'm feeling like either it's clear for now, or we took, or there's one remaining. Really? Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. That is a weird angle for you. Okay, in that case, let's blue move you to here. See if that pops anything. I suspect no. Then move you to here so you have full cover. And if that still does nothing, then we can move you up more freely. And then the following turn, we should have plenty of room with which to shoot the thing. I'm going. Oh, I guess the other turret's active now. Whoops. I guess I saw it through a window or something then. Huh. 
Martin. I'm a little bit worried as a result. I have one action point left. Let's put you behind full cover just so we're being real safe about it. I'm worried about what that thing can shoot at. Okay, you have no vision of the turret, so I don't think the turret can see you either. You lost one square because of blue move instead of just immediate yellow move. Question is whether you can see the turret from here. Given that you aren't shaken, let's go ahead and give it a try. Right, Turrets go. don't have the best aim. You to here. Objective located. Good. No pod. Good. Overwatch just to be safe Overwatch. about it. Go ahead and shoot the damn thing. What's over there? The, the objective. I probably should have tried to shadow fall that actually. Confirm destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Cool. We'll do. See, turret couldn't see us from here, so let's try this. Sure sounds like the turret could see us from there. Blue to here. Reload. Rock and roll. Yellow to here because the turret shouldn't be able to see us and we might be able to slash for a kill. Oh. Hi. That's less than ideal. Okay. This is far enough out of the way that I feel as though we're pretty safe, so let's start with this. Cool. Hostile neutralized. Oh my god, we can actually go for the hack. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, go for half cover because full cover is not within reach. Closing on target position now. Hack. Accessing system. Go for the disorient. Gee, thanks, game. This is why I try to get my hack score up. I and at least our assault and our sniper are over here. Finally. Just gonna do that for now. Okay, so there, there, and there. Means that we want full cover. Try to go for the kill. And miss. Adjusting sights. Gonna need to reload soon. Okay. Is that representative? That looks like it might be an auto loader. Now, ah, whatever. Here. I hope it's worth it. Lightning hands. The kill. One down, thousands to go. Don't bother with shadow fall because you're not going to get a kill. Just go for a shot. Okay, one damage. Hit the armor. Yay! Admin forces sighted. I noticed. I mean, solid hit for what you got. No! 
That's fair. Okay. This is bad. Oh, I guess you went up there. Okay, we're gonna start with you then. Death from above. Who's keeping score? Good. I'm not, entirely, I'm not entirely sure why we can't shoot you now. Huh. Oh well. Oh! Death from above doesn't let you use your rifle. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's think this through first, because that is solid. But we have you up here, and you can make sure you just run over here and shoot us with it with elevation. Oh. Please, 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 please. I think I did it. Kill confirmed. Oh, good. Okay, we're gonna frost bomb you. Hey, because that'll just that'll just remove you from the equation for a little bit. Okay. We have the pistolier and the assault. How much damage do you do with this? You do not get a kill with this. Okay, interesting. You can get half cover here. Because the sword can do like all but one damage to you. But we also don't have a follow-up. And we really want you to not be hurt. I completely forgot about that. Okay, okay. Hmm, hmm. In that case, go for this to try to get the kill. Essentially, I'm trying to see... Or essentially, I'm accepting that the mech lives for a turn because we only have a mech and then a captain on the other side of the map, so they can't talk to each other, really. So we just have two separate fights, each with one enemy, and that's doable. It's somewhat scary, but it's doable. I really needed that to hit. Full cover, at least. Yeah, it's our only thing that's left. Roger that. Okay, now we pretty much just hope that our assault doesn't get hit. Yep. What do you do? That's actually what I was hoping for. Wait, did that end your turn? Oh, he went to the mid-level. Well, that's weird. Try for the one in three here, just because you can't shoot anything else. Good hit. You to over here, just that you're close enough to get the, get to get the shot off. Five. Thank you for managing to hit the literally frozen enemy. Ready to engage. Damn. Okay, let's... Hmm. Hmm. That is a weird location. Okay, max damage doesn't get a kill, so I feel like I just move you the hell out of the way. I feel like because mechs have grenades, maybe don't put you next to the explosive. Yeah, I just... 
over here so you're just completely out of the Already way. There. Hi. You to over here, so you have full cover. And if effectively same with you. All right, I'll go. And that's full cover here as well, and it's closer, so your, so your pistol might be able to do more stuff. Did, did that mech just do nothing? This is a weird mission. <laughs> Seems doable. Reload. Reload. Let's do this. Reload. Oh yeah. Actually, Ready a little surprised on. you don't have vision. I think floors are destructible, so I'm kind of trying to maneuver maneuver into that kind of position. Yeah, I'd like to not hit myself, please. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Okay. Hold on, didn't you, like, one shot? No, no, that, that might could have already taken at least one damage. I'm I want to try this for a turn just to kind of see what happens. Yeah, no, you're just not moving now. This is weird. On my way. Probably on Overwatch, I just realized. Oh, no, you got sight lines. Don't got an arm, so just try for this. Or you can mess. I'll get him next time. Whatever you say. And up to here, I guess, just that you're in full cover. Nope, no blue move that goes inside. I'm gonna try this for elevation, then. Out. 82. I'm gonna kill you eventually! Hard target, minimal damage. Can you do this yet? No. Yeah, I shouldn't have expected that. Come get some. Come get some. Oh, you dick! <laughs> I move. I I'm gonna lose shaking on you just to gain it on you. <laughs> Here. Think that's enough? No, you, you have one more. One left. Oh dear god. On the move. You're somewhere in the vicinity of this. Secure. Well, that was either a robot or the civilian, and we got the kill, so I think it's the robot. What the hell happened at the end of that mission? <laughs> oh, God, XCOM. Made most attacks. And moved furthest. The most damage is our sniper. Most under fire is probably our grenadier, I guess. Because you're the only one who got shot at. Not a single casualty reporting, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. And this is why having someone in the, in the Advanced Warfare Center is good. Because gravely wounded, almost died, 12 days down. Still significant, but it would have been 24, 25, something like that. So I'll take it. And our off support, like our combat support got upgraded, or got promoted. 
halfway tempted to just reverse it and go, and go revival now, but no, Haywire is really good. And no one else promoted, despite having wet work, so... Okay. Two Advent Stun Lancer Corpses, one Viper Corpse, three Advent Trooper Corpses, two Advent Turret Rex, one Sectoid Corpse, two Advent Mech Rex, and two, and two Advent Officer Corpses. Advent, no, Advent Mech Breakdown, Research Unlocked. Oh yeah, we just saw those for the first time, I guess. Advent Turret Breakdown. No, those are the ones that we just saw for the first time. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Countered Advent Rural Checkpoints. I want to say that that's like an extra Advent squad on every mission or something. And we got a scientist. Soldier recovered. Yay. Staff acquired. Yay. Oh, hey, I guess that our uh, grenadier didn't get uh, shaken. Yeah, gravely wounded, but not shaken. Good. Still want to unshake our specialist here, but that'll be later. Anyway, that's it for the mission and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff here a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and hope to see you in the next one, where we will finally have people be not wounded and hopefully take them on a mission that stops our main specialist from being shaken. And we'll probably get Gauss weapons, aka Shaft finish up our uh, mag Tiger. weapons. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. Well, thanks. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.